Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been posting a series of videos where we had a look at features to disable for better security in Windows 11, how to harden Firefox for better privacy and security, and some settings you can keep disabled for optimizing Microsoft Edge. And those three videos will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now it's time to have a look at a couple of settings that you can enable and change in Google Chrome to basically harden the browser to browse a little bit more safely while you are online using the Chrome web browser. Now once again this is not a comprehensive list and is in no particular order and if you feel I've missed something just let me know down below in the comments. Now the first is enabling enhanced protection for safe browsing which, in case you're unaware, is a feature that protects you from malware by warning you of dangerous websites, extensions, downloads, and so on. And it also warns you when one of your passwords is detected in a data breach or when you visit a potentially harmful website. So for this, we're going to head over to our main menu, click on Settings, head over to Privacy and Security, and click on the Security section. And here we get Safe Browsing, and by default, Standard Protection is enabled. But I advise turning on enhanced protection. Now the only downside with this setting is that your browsing data can get sent to Google. Okay, So if you are more concerned about privacy than security, then maybe you don't want to enable the setting. But I really found this setting very helpful, enhanced protection in the Google Chrome web browser. Now the next one is enabling HTTPS only mode for secure connections. and as you may well know, websites that use HTTPS are more secure than those that don't. So by enabling this feature, you can set Chrome to always upgrade the HTTP part of a URL to HTTPS. Now for this one, we're actually going to stay on the same page in the settings. And we're just going to scroll down. And yeah, you'll see secure connections. Always use secure connections. So turn that on if it hasn't been turned on already and just take note though that it says for sites that don't support secure connections um, get warned before visiting the site so just take note of that but there we go turn that on always use secure connections is um, very much recommended if it isn't on already and then the next is some settings we can enable for manual verification for passwords and autofill and there are actually two settings to enable for this feature. Now as you may well know using the autofill and passwords feature in Chrome is an easy way to fill out forms, payment details and login details and websites and so on. But the problem with, the, with this though is it can make a computer less secure because anyone with access can use it. So the first setting we are going to enable is manual verification for passwords. So for this heading back into our settings we click on autofill and passwords Google Password Manager and we head over to Settings. And for this setting, what we're going to do is we are going to turn on Use Windows Hello when filling passwords. And it says, if you share this device with others, as I mentioned, you can turn on Windows Hello to verify it's you whenever you use a saved password. So toggle that on and there we go. Windows Hello wants me to verify that with my PIN. And the same will happen if you turn off the feature. It'll also ask you for your PIN. And with um, that enabled now, whenever Chrome automatically fills a password, obviously now you must verify your identity using one of your Windows Hello sign-in options. For my case, it's a PIN on this device. And the next is enabling manual verification for payment methods. Now for this one, we're going to head back into our autofill and passwords. But this time, we're going to click on payment methods. And yeah, you see, manually verify every time you pay using autofill. It says when turned off, you may be asked occasionally to verify for security purposes, but I recommend turning that on. And once again, you're going to have to use your Windows Hello, in my case, my Windows Hello PIN to verify that setting. So that's enabling manual verification for payment methods, which I always think is a good idea. And then heading on to the next is something I've spoken on about um, on the channel previously is to regularly run a safety check. 
And for this one, we're going to head to privacy and security. And um, what it does is it just gives you a couple of recommendations for your review if it finds one or two things that it feels maybe are affecting your privacy and security. And what you can do is you can click on go to safety check. And here you can see obviously the recommendations and you can click on each of these if there is a recommendation to obviously try and resolve that issue. But I do um, suggest regularly running a safety check. Um, it is advised basically as it says safety at a glance. And then the last one for this video is not actually to do with Chrome itself. Um, is to enable two-step verification, which isn't a Chrome setting, but it does add an extra layer of security when browsing on Chrome. And obviously the big one here is it stops unauthorized access to your Google account, which also stores your Chrome data. So if you've got a lot of data online, I would definitely suggest turning on two-step um, verification or two-factor authentication as it's also known. Now for this one, we're going to head up to our account profile manage your Google account and this will take you over to your account settings online and for this we click on security and on your security page as part of your sign in options yeah you can see two-step verification now I've already turned this on and I suggest you do but what you would do um, is you would turn it on from there you would just follow the steps follow the prompts and obviously you'd have to set up your different devices and so on but it's quite an easy process and i definitely suggest turning on two-step verification if you haven't done so already so there you go guys not a comprehensive list um, let me know as i said in the comments if there's anything you think i've missed that's um, of significance and that's just another video in the kind of series i've been doing regarding security in windows and in different browsers and that's a couple of settings you can enable in google chrome to harden it to help you browse a little bit more safely while you are online using Google Chrome. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.